in this tutorial, you are going to learn to display discount countdown timer on your website. But you have to take note that for discount timer, it will not work if your promotion is for store-wide orders. Secondly, if the promotion has no end date. And third one is if the promotion has extra condition setting. I'm going to show you how. So now I'm going to take an example. For example, I'm going to do this promotion. Today, 10% off on specific collection. So now we go to admin panel. We go to marketing and promotion. We click add promotion. As our promotion going to be purchased from a certain, quant a certain collection and get 10% off, now we need to select third apple and above for this one. The fifth one. Okay, so for promotion title, it is for your own purpose, for your own record purpose only. Today. Then secondly, for online store display, this is for your customer to see it. Right. So for this promotion going to be 10% off for certain for specific collection. So now you have to choose collection and choose from the collection that you already created. For example, I want to make it to maybe from top. Okay, so they have to purchase from this collection. Certain quantity and above to get discount. Since there is no minimum quantity, so we just make it to one. Discount option, 10%. Okay. Next, you will see the active date, right? You have to make sure that you uncheck this one. Okay, then now we can actually set it for one day. So one day, it starts from 12 in the midnight, then and 11.59 at night. Click OK. Okay. So scroll down, you will see extra condition. For voucher code, it is for you to create your voucher code, meaning that customer has to key in the voucher code during checkout to enjoy this promotion. Then for second one is target customer. You can restrict who can enjoy this promotion. So first one is open to public, meaning that anyone can enjoy this promotion. Second one is all login member, meaning that any, every customer, they have to log into your online store to enjoy this promotion. And for the third one is selected customer group. So for this case, maybe I choose VIP group to enjoy this promotion. So for store usage limit, it is for you to, for you to um, restrict um, for this promotion, how many orders able to enjoy the promotion. And lastly, for each customer usage limit, you can actually set it. For example, if you make it to one, means that one customer can enjoy this promotion for one time. So you have to take note that if you're actually setting the usage limit, customer will have to log into their account to enjoy the promotion so the system can detect whether this customer has enjoyed the promotion or not. All right, so remember to save the setting, but we are not done yet. All right, now we have to go to apps on your sidebar. Then you click more apps. Then you have to search discount timer on the bar. You will see discount timer app. So make sure that you install the app, this app into your online store. Then now you can actually set up discount timer app. So you can actually change the text color. You can change the background color. Then you can actually see the preview downstairs. So if you think show plain text only, it no, you're not going to show the border. You're going to show a plain, a plain number like this. Okay, make sure that you save the changes. And how it's going to look on your online store, it will be like this. So this is on product page, where this is on product listing page. You can see that the timer is counting down. All right.
So that's all for this tutorial.